Hello, everyone. This is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I'm back at it with some more Conquest. And before we get started, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing good, and I'm staying safe for the most part. And oh boy, do I have more to talk about involving the quarry. <laughs> Some stuff has been actually happening, but I won't talk about it in this video, but I'm definitely going to be talking about, um, you know, whenever I do another video after this, I'll talk about some middle game spoilers because some shit has definitely been hitting the fan at the Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp for sure. <laughs> but enough of about the quarry. I think we should go ahead and jump into some conquest, shall we? And it looks like we're going to be picking up with level 11, the town square on Conquest 5. Let's see what we can get done with that today. Yeah, we might have to redo this one here. I can't believe it. I'm losing to a team of Ivanova and Alice on it. Really? Okay. No problem. We can try again. There we go. Alright. Oh. 
Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought she was going to be bringing Ivanova back, but I forgot. She's decap. So we're good. I apologize if I'm not saying a whole lot in this video. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to say into today's video in particularly because it's, um, right now we're in the second week of the Outlanders event and there's not really a way to get more, um, brutish shards right now other than collecting the beehives at the moment but by the time you guys get this video it's probably going to be a week behind from when it's actually uh being recorded because i recorded a conquest video last week which you pro you guys will probably be getting that one this week and then you'll probably be getting this one next week and like I said I got some uh, I got some interesting things to say about the quarry shit has actually hit the fan where where I'm at on it and I'll definitely be talking about it in a I'm not sure what video uh, what video I'll be talking about in it but I'll be talking about it uh, you know, I'll be giving some middle, middle game spoilers on it because stuff has actually happened where it's definitely worth talking about it at this point. But by the time you guys get this video, I will most likely have already talked about stuff that's happening in the middle of the game. I'll be right back. I'm gonna just let that do its thing. Oh good, I came back just in time. I'm curious how many of you are going to be trying to get the first edition Brutus. I know I'm going to definitely be trying to get that first edition Brutus. And how many of you are just going to stick with the standard edition of Brutus, which both editions of Brutus look very cool, in my opinion. But, you know, if I got the gear and medals and all of that, I'm going to go ahead and try my absolute best to get that first edition. I think he looks so cool. Both 
versions look very cool. But, I don't know, I, I think that armored up look, looks, oh man, that looks so bad at Yeah, let's try to taunt Dr. Stevens there so he doesn't bring anyone else back up. All I will say about the Cory, this isn't really spoilers. Um like I'm gonna say, the Cory is made by Supermassive Games, which, you know, all of their games are choice-based games, and supposedly the Cory has like 180-some different endings. I highly doubt it's that many. They just want to, you know, market it up and stuff, but I'm sure there definitely are a lot of different endings you can get. But I don't know about 180 some. I would be really interested to see if someone would act, it would actually be able to get all 100 and so claimed endings <laughs> out there. I don't know if someone would have the patience and time to do that. Maybe eventually. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, about the quarry. Oh yeah, I'll definitely be replaying it for sure. I'm loving it so far. And it looks like we're going to be moving on to level 12, the Northeast Woods. What my plan is, like I said, when I record a video, I'm going to tell, you know, tell you guys middle game spoilers, and after I beat the quarry, I'll have, you know, end game, you know, late game spoilers, and then I also want to uh, sit down and think about it and write down a list of things that I loved about the quarry, things that I liked, and things that I didn't like. Once I beat the game, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit down and really think about some of the stuff, like, like you know, characters, uh, outcome, the story, you know, the different, like, how I, how I like or might not like the quick time events, or... You know, once I beat the game, I'm going to really sit down and think about how how I like the features of the quarry, you know, or how I might not like some of the features, you know. But, of course, I'm going to beat the game first, because so far, I really don't, um, the only possible negative I could say is maybe the characters themselves um you know that could be the number one thing maybe that I would have on the negative side is possibly the characters uh 
especially Jacob. Um, I won't say why, but I went over why I possibly don't like Jacob. But I'll definitely get more into it in a middle uh, game spoiler when I do a separate video. Which of course, I mean, I'm gonna be doing. I don't know what I. I don't know what else I'll be doing in the video, but you know, I'll get through with what I'm doing in that video, and that'll be like the absolute last thing that I'll talk about. Like I did with the calendar review video uh, not too long ago. Now I think I'm done talking about the quarry in this video. Only because I might accidentally slip up and say something. <laughs> Which, no, I'll, I'll save it for another video, for sure. And since this is the last week of the current league season, um, you know, you can't really move up to, alright, I made it into Diamond 2 by accident, I guess because I rated consistently pretty heavily to get those, um, Brutus Shards, uh, so that moved me up into Diamond 2, and since it's the final week of the leagues, the current league season, um, I can't move up to Diamond 3, and I can't drop back down to Diamond 1, so, this is gonna be a pretty chill week, uh, for RTS for me, personally, other than war this weekend, I mean, I kind of like that, I'm gonna be honest, there's not at the current, you know, at the time of this recording, there's not really a way to get Brutus Shards without selecting the Beehives, so I'm just doing other stuff this week because I'm not going to kill myself to move up in a certain spot in Diamond 2 when I'm not going to go up to Diamond 3 and I'm not going to fall back to Diamond 1. Next week is when I'm going to have to push myself. And, you know, that that won't be an issue. But this week I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to take it really easy as far as trying to push in my current league standing because you can't move up to the next rank and you can't move down. So, I'm guaranteed at least 600, uh, I think it's 650 coins this week for me, since I'm in Diamond 2. So, no need to push myself. <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna help or hurt me this week particularly. So, like I said, this video is gonna be a week behind most likely. So, by the time you guys get this, you know, we'll have the next league season already, so.
All right, that is going to do it for this one. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and for your continued support. Or, if you're new, welcome in for the first time. All of you are very awesome, and I thank you again. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buck Beak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.